Today's report isn't just another defence update, it's a glimpse into the future of India's defence self-reliance. When we talk about Atmanirbhar Bharat, self-reliant India in defence, it's not a slogan anymore. It's a strategic national mission tied to India's security and sovereignty. And this mission has now taken a major leap forward, thanks to France's Dassault Aviation, the company behind the world-famous Rafale fighter jet. Dassault has expanded its Dassault Aviation Services India Engineering Centre in Pune, doubling its size and capability. This new campus will host over 150 Indian engineers, working not just on maintenance but on advanced design, research and simulation. What's truly significant is the timing. This expansion comes just as the Indian Air Force has proposed the purchase of 114 new Rafale jets, potentially India's largest ever defence deal. So the big question, is Dassault's move just another business expansion or the start of a new chapter in India-France defence cooperation? Let's break it down. Pune is fast emerging as India's industrial and defence innovation hub. Dassault's expanded engineering centre, originally launched in 2021, is now twice as large, equipped for digital simulation and advanced manufacturing engineering. More than 150 engineers, many from IITS, NITS and DRDO research institutes, will be working on projects like Spectra, Electronic Warfare, Suite, Integration, UTIM, AESA, radar compatibility, AI-based predictive maintenance systems, India-specific upgrades like hot weather and high-altitude performance optimization. Dassault's senior executives have been very clear, this isn't just about fulfilling an offset obligation. This is a long-term investment in India's technological ecosystem. Under the original Rafale deal, Dassault is required to invest 50% of the contract value within India, an offset clause. Earlier, this led to Tata Dassault fuselage manufacturing in India. Now, this Pune Engineering Centre represents the next phase, not assembly, but innovation. And that's what transforms India from a defence market into a defence partner. This expansion signifies much more than jobs or infrastructure. It's about trust, collaboration and technology transfer. India and France are moving beyond just buying and selling weapons. They're entering the era of co-development and co-creation. Through this new centre, India is emerging as a global engineering hub for Dassault, supporting not just Indian projects, but future upgrades and technologies for nations like the UAE and Indonesia. In other words, India won't just assemble fighter jets, it will design the next generation of technologies that power them. This will reduce foreign dependency, strengthen India's defence R&D base, boost export potential, empower local MSMEs and private defence startups. According to industry estimates, over 500 new direct and indirect jobs will be created around Pune. HALDRDO, Adani Defence and several small defence firms will likely collaborate on joint projects. Dassault's new focus areas include AI-driven predictive maintenance, smart diagnostic tools, machine learning-based combat readiness systems. This means future fighter jet maintenance won't just be reactive, it'll be predictive. When a component nears its stress limit, the system will automatically alert engineers before failure. Such technology drastically improves combat readiness and cost efficiency, a game changer for India's Air Force. Currently, 20% of Dassault's global revenue comes from the Asia-Pacific region. With India becoming a technological hub for its operations, the ripple effect will strengthen India's defence exports and strategic autonomy. This isn't the first time France has stood by India. Their relationship goes way back to the 1950s. When most Western nations criticized India's nuclear policy, France stood with India. Even after India's nuclear tests in 1998, when the world imposed sanctions, France refused to condemn India, recognizing its legitimate security needs. France has consistently supported India's nuclear independence, Make in India initiative and defense modernization, not as a superior power, but as an equal partner. This is what makes the India-France relationship unique. It's based not on pressure or politics, but on mutual respect and long-term trust. In contrast, India's relationship with the United States has grown significantly over the past two decades, from the 2005 civil nuclear deal to the major defense partner status, 2016, and now through Quad Cooperation. The U.S. has provided India with access to advanced drones, jet engine tech and AI-based defense systems crucial for countering China's growing influence in the Indo-Pacific. But here's the key difference. The U.S. partnership is primarily geopolitical and interest-driven. 
The France partnership is trust-driven and balanced. Both are vital. The U.S. is India's strategic and economic ally, but France remains India's true and consistent friend. Dassault's new expansion in Pune isn't just a corporate move, it's a symbol of how far India has come. From being a defence buyer to becoming a defence innovator. From assembling jets to designing next-generation aerospace technologies. This is trust in action. When vision, technology and collaboration come together, self-reliance stops being a dream and becomes reality. So next time you see a Rafale jet soaring across the Indian sky, remember this. A part of its technology, its intelligence, its innovation is now being designed right here in India. And that's not just defense cooperation, that's strategic friendship.